I'll be showing you how to perform a one-way ANOVA and means matrix using Sigma Excel. The one-way ANOVA and means matrix allows you to quickly do multiple pairwise comparisons. The one-way ANOVA tests null hypothesis where mean one is equal to mean two is equal to mean three and the alternative hypothesis has at least one pairwise set of means that are not equal. To begin, we're going to open up the customer data set. You can do this by clicking the help drop down menu, sample data, we're going to open up the customer data set. We're going to click on statistical tools, one way ANOVA and means matrix. If your data set is not already pre selected, you can select use entire data table. Ensure the stack column format is selected. The numeric data variable is overall satisfaction and group category is customer type. And if it's not selected already, you can check mark the display test assumptions report and click OK. The ANOVA p-value of zero tells us that at least one pairwise set of means are not equal. From the means matrix, we conclude that the mean overall satisfaction is significantly different between customer types 2 and 3, as well as customer types 1 and 2. A graphical view of the overall satisfaction mean and 95% confidence intervals are given to complement the means matrix. The fact that the confidence intervals for customer type 2 do not overlap those of customer types 1 or 3 clearly shows that customer type 2 has a significantly higher mean satisfaction score. The overlap of confidence intervals for types 1 and 3 show that the mean satisfaction scores for 1 and 3 are not significantly different. The R-square value of 20.95% indicates that customer type explains approximately 21% of the variation in overall satisfaction. We need to drill down to understand the root causes and best practices associated with customer type 2. So now we're going to view the one-way ANOVA assumptions report. This is a text report with color highlights. Green means OK. Yellow is a warning and red is a serious violation. Each sample is tested for normality using the Anderson-Darling test. If not normal, the minimum sample size for robustness of the ANOVA test is determined utilizing Monte Carlo regression equations. If the sample size is inadequate, a warning is given and the appropriate non-parametric test is recommended. Each sample is tested for outliers defined as potential, likely, and extreme. If outliers are present, a warning is given and recommendation to review the data with a box plot and normal probability plot are also given. Here we have a potential outlier for customer type 2. Quick tip, if the removal of outliers results in an Anderson-Darling p-value that is greater than 0.1, a notice is given that excluding the outlier, the sample data are inherently normal. Each sample is also tested for randomness using the exact non-parametric runs tests. If the sample data is not random, a warning is given and a recommendation to review data with a run chart is also given. And lastly, a test for equal variances is also applied. If all samples are normal, Barlett's test is utilized, otherwise Levine's test is used. If the variances are unequal, then a warning is given and Welch's ANOVA is recommended. So this concludes our one-way ANOVA and means matrix example. If you'd like to view more videos and tutorials, please visit SigmaXL.com or the SigmaXL YouTube page. Thank you for watching.